Floor and Bears, and welcome back to another segment of Harvest of the Month. My name is Mr. H, and I'm here with Sierra in Mr. Wilkinson's class, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, and you're moving up to sixth grade really yeah. soon, right? Yes, and well, when we will be going up to sixth grade, I will not be here because I'm going to Georgia, Atlanta. Oh, well, you know what? I was just at, I was just in Atlanta, Georgia a month ago, and I had a really good time, so I think you'll really enjoy it there. So this Harvest of the Month is all about berries. We have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and I believe your class was even given blackberries. Today, we have the opportunity to share with you my favorite smoothie recipe using all berries. So the first thing we're gonna do is Sierra's gonna grab some of the ice and go ahead and pour it in our blender. Just like that, perfect. Now, for those of you at home and maybe for some of our younger audience members out there, whenever you're using a blender, you really wanna make sure you have parent supervision Blenders have really sharp blades and they can be dangerous. So if you are not, if you don't feel comfortable using it yourself, make sure there's a parent there using it there with you. Now, after our ice is in, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab the milk. For those of you that are lactose intolerant, there is also almond milk. There we go. Almond milk is actually a little bit sweeter as well, so it might make your smoothies taste a little bit better. Now, before we prepped all of our food and before we washed all of our berries, we made sure that our hands were nice and clean. You washed your hands, correct? Yes. Excellent. Why don't you go ahead and grab some strawberries. We'll pour some strawberries in there and we can use the rest of those. Excellent. Now, Sierra, what is your favorite type of berry? My favorite type of strawberries because they're sweet. Excellent. You know what? My favorite are actually blueberries. Why don't you go ahead and pour some blueberries in there? I really like pouring blueberries in with my Cheerios sometimes in the morning. Um, sometimes I'll do blueberries in my oatmeal. Perfect. And we have our raspberries. Before filming, we actually froze our raspberries. That's one of the great things about berries. Go ahead and pour some of those in there. Is that you can have fresh berries and you can also freeze them to save them for later. Excellent. Go ahead and pull that out. Perfect. Now, berries are very sweet, and I really enjoy berries, but I like to add a little bit of chocolate in mine. So what we did was we got some Nesquik here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, and we just add a tiny bit. Thank you, that's good, perfect. I'm gonna pour a tiny bit in there, just like that. Now, before I put it on my blender, I really wanna make sure that the top is on nice and tight because if you don't and you start the blender, you might make a really big mess in your kitchen. Now, Sierra, I have a really interesting story to tell you. And then at the end, that's where I hid the million dollars. So, we're gonna open our straw, or open our berry smoothie. Now, all of you should have gotten a paper to take home to your parents about a week ago. And it's really important that you show these to your parents to really get them to go out and buy you some of these berries that you can have in your own diet. For ages 5 to 12, it's recommended that you have five servings of berries every single day. You want to go ahead and pour us the first one? Sure. Now, this is really smooth. But if you like, thank you, Sarah. If you like really thick smoothies, just add a little less milk, or if you like really watery smoothies, you can always add more milk. What do you think? Cheers, toast. Let's do a toast. All right. Mmm. That is delicious. One of the things about smoothies is that even if you're missing some of these berries, you can always add more. You can always add less. You can always replace a berry with, with bananas. There's no wrong way to make a smoothie. They're healthy, they're very quick, and they give you lots of energy, vitamins, and antioxidants. So, how do you think of it? It's really good, and I like the taste of the strawberries in it. Great, let's go share this with the rest of the class. Mm -hmm.